I've tilted the camera down a little bit so you can see the crank area a little bit better. The next step is to install the bottom bracket. Now since we're doing a fat bike, because the chain has to clear wider tires and wider wheels, the cranks are set out further. So the bottom bracket is wider. Now in this video we're going to cover the installation of a threaded bottom bracket. So this is what we're going to use for this bike. Uh, there are different widths as well. You can find 120 millimeter, 100 millimeter. So be aware that there's different sizes. Uh, just saying fat bike bottom bracket is not going to get you the right thing. Make sure that it matches up to your frame. And you can measure the width of this portion of your frame to make sure it's the right one. And looking inside you can see the threads of course. Uh, this is a smaller bottom bracket typical of what you see on something with obviously much narrower tires. So there's the difference. Installation is exactly the same between these two. One just is wider than the other. Now here comes another special tool. So here's a bottom bracket installation and removal tool. You can see it has these splines and they match up to the splines on the bottom bracket. Now this tool can be used either with a wrench or you can actually put a ratchet in there um, which is probably recommended. That's an easier way to do it. Um, but before we get to actually cranking it down, this is an aluminum frame and it can be pretty easy to strip these threads if you're not careful. And usually that's caused because of the threads themselves being reversed. So here we have the right side of the bike and the right side threads are reversed. So you're going to turn it to the left to tighten it. Usually that's where the problem occurs. Now the other side is actually threaded normally. So remember that when you go to thread it in, you should be able to turn it by hand. You can see I'm turning it by hand and it's sliding in nicely, no resistance. Uh, if you have to really wrench on it, please be careful and make sure that it's going in straight. Uh, a couple of tricks. One is if it's a new frame that's never had a bottom bracket installed, it's possible there might be some paint in there. So you may want to take a wire brush and make sure to clean out any paint that was sprayed in there because this may not have been plugged properly. And the other thing you can do is once you get this started just a little bit, then you can take the piece that goes on the other side and start it as well. And if you get that on there a little ways, then you know that it's going in straight as you tighten it all the way down. Now, one more thing we gotta know, because this is an electric bike, we're not actually ready to put this in. We need to put our pedal assist sensor on. So the pedal assist sensor detects the movement of the cranks as they go around. There's a, another type called a torque sensing. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but you can actually buy a bottom bracket that has a sensor, and then it's detecting how much pressure you're putting, uh, whereas we're gonna use the simpler and more affordable pedal assist sensor that basically has the sensor here and a magnet that will get mounted right inside the crank so it knows when the pedals are turning. And then the bike can automatically kick on the power and that level is adjustable with the screen that will go on eventually as well. So what we do is take the bottom bracket, slide the sensor right over it, and now we can put the bottom bracket into the frame and get it tightened all the way down. Now remember, like I said before, that the right side has reverse threads, so you're gonna go to the left to get it tight. And you should be able to get it close by hand. And then you'll wanna position that sensor where you want it. I like to have it above this area of the frame because if it's underneath, you're more likely to hit the sensor on a rock or something that could damage it. And you can get that nice and 
tight. And then remember that the left side of the frame are standard threads, so you're going to turn to the right to get it tightened down. And once again, you should be able to do several turns by hand before you need to use a wrench. Thanks again for watching. If you're just tuning in, this is just one video in a whole series on how to build your own electric bike. So please make sure to subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you can see when the latest videos have come out. If you happen to show up in the middle of the series and you want to get back to the beginning, I'll put a link to the first one or other episodes in the description. And the previous video will be over here. And the next video I'll make sure to put over here.